Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 new tips and tricks that you need to know if you're running iOS 16.3 on your iPhone. Now iOS 16.3 has just recently been released and even though it's not that big of an update, it still has some new features and changes and some things you need to know that you probably will need and use on a daily basis. Now before we get into the video, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I'm noticing that most of you guys that watch my videos, even though you watch them, you're still not subscribed to the channel. So please, if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting with the first one. New changes have been made on the SOS calls. So when you go to your settings and you go to emergency and SOS, you will see here new wording. You have, you have now call quietly and all that, but basically what you need to do in order to make an SOS call if you use this option right here call with hold and release then it means that you will have to hold and release the side button and also one of the volume buttons it will show you the countdown but won't make the call after the countdown the call will be made actually when you do release the buttons so just like that it says release to call emergency services you can of course tap cancel or you can just release the buttons and right away it will make the emergency call now this right here is one of my favorite features. On the Maps app, now you will have parking options. Now this will work mostly on bigger cities and you just go to a location that you need to go and it will show you here the option. It will work for a lot of places of course when there are parking spots available around that place. So right here you can see we're at this place, I can tap the more button and now it will show me all the options here and at the top it says parking. Now tapping there it will will open spot hero so it opens it on the browser right here on the maps app so it doesn't take you out of the app and right here we'll have all the available spots near to the place where you're going and of course you will have the price there and everything else that you need to know as you probably know, with iOS 16.2, Apple has added a new feature called Advanced Data Protection, which will basically encrypt your iCloud data. Well, now with iOS 16.3, they have made it available worldwide. But there is something that you need to know before you try to use this feature. Now, to use this feature, you will need to have a recovery contact on your device. You need to set up the recovery contact or the recovery key just in case you lose access to your data because, again, Apple won't be responsible of decrypting your data. So what you do here is tap on turn on advanced data protection and it will ask you to actually set up the account recovery. So when you go here to set up the account recovery and you tap add a recovery contact, what it will do is that it shows you the devices that you have. Let's just authenticate here. So it shows you the list of the devices that you have tied up to your iCloud account and you will actually need to update these devices. So before trying to actually enable advanced data protection, make sure that you have all of your devices updated or you will have to actually remove those from your account. You can do that from the iCloud settings. So you either update your devices or remove them from your iCloud account before trying to enable advanced data protection. Another security feature that Apple has added to iOS 16.3 is the new security keys feature. Now, if you're planning of using this feature, but you don't know a lot about security keys, all you have to do is go to your iCloud, go to password, and then go right here to security keys. Now what you can do here is tap on learn more. It will give you more details regarding security keys for your Apple ID. Everything will be here. Now you can also of course tap on add security keys and it will show you here all the information you need to know. And also you can just learn how to choose the right security key for your device and for your data so you tap right there and it will show you again everything about security keys and how to choose the ones that you need and of course the ones that will work the best with your device and you actually need to have two of them in order to actually enable and use this feature on your iphone here is another security feature that Apple has brought back with iOS 16.3. I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't know about this, but now support for two-factor authentication for third-party apps is back on iOS 16.3. I didn't test it. I don't know if it works as it should or not, but this used to be before on iOS. It had been removed, and now with iOS 16.3, it's actually back. So when you go to your settings, you go to passwords, you will see here under the password options, set up verification codes using and you can choose 
either of course iCloud passwords and keychain or you can use one of the third party apps. If you have a HomePod with iOS 16.3, you will get a really interesting new feature. So you go right here to choose media. So you choose under the alarm sound, you choose play media, you tap on choose media, and then you will have the option to either choose Apple Music or the new ambient sounds. And when you tap right there, you will see a few different sounds right here. We're like, we have like seven different sounds that you can choose and play them as your alarm for the home pod. So you will have like fireplace, night, ocean, rain, stream, white noise, forest, and all that. These are the sounds that Apple has currently added, which can be used as an alarm for your home pod. On the books app on iOS 16.3, you no longer will need to reset your theme and everything when trying to reset the original font. Now, previously, if you choose one of the other fonts right here, it would actually just push you to just reset everything if you just wanted to reset the font. Now you will have the original font on the list right here. So you choose another one, you want to go back to the original font. All you have to do now with iOS 16.3 is tap on original. You no longer need to reset said everything. And now let's talk about the new wallpaper that Apple has added to iOS 16.3, the new Unity wallpaper, which actually has a lot of customization options. Now, if you go here, of course, you will have all the different colors, this being the default right here. So the Unity one is the default, then you can choose all the different colors that you want. Now, what is interesting about this wallpaper is that you will also have some like special bolder fonts right there. So if you tap there, you will have these fonts which are bolder and even if you go like to different like different numbers right there it will still be bold and you have only two colors but what's really cool about this wallpaper is that if you have a device with an always on display i suggest you use this wallpaper because it looks really really cool so it looks like this when the device's screen is waking up but when you just go to the always on display, you can see how it just transfer into a complete other wallpaper and it actually looks pretty amazing. So if you have a device with an always on display, go ahead and check out the new Unity wallpaper. It really makes the device look totally different. Now here is another tip that you need to know. Even though this is not brand new on iOS 16.3, it is something that I'm expecting Apple to actually do on iOS 16.3, and that is pushing out security updates. They have done it through the beta stages of iOS 16.2, they haven't done it anymore, but I would expect Apple to now actually start just sending those security updates after they have tested them before. So in order to have those installed on your device, because of course they are really really important make sure you go ahead and go to your settings go to general go under software update automatic updates and make sure you have security responses and system files turned on these basically will install on your device automatically if you do this and are really important as they won't actually update your ios version they are just like small updates to fix like security bugs and all that stuff so you want to have that enabled so you don't need to bother about it and you have the latest security fixes always installed on your iphone and last but not least, we're moving to the Shortcuts app. On the Shortcuts app on iOS 16.3, when you're trying to add actions and you have different variables there available, now you will have a drop down menu. So if I just tap right here, you can see it shows me a list, basically a drop down menu from where I can select whatever I want. And if you have actually something there, if I have this one, let's say in this case I have first name, I can actually tap here and from the list also clear that as easy as that. So for all the variables that are available, for any of the actions you will have now a drop down menu so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video these are 10 new tips and tricks that you will be able to find on your device running the new ios 16.3 even though as i said at the beginning this update is not as huge as we have been expecting it and it just didn't have a lot of new big features and changes it's still quite a solid update Hopefully, with the new update iOS 16.4, in the near future, we'll get a lot more new features and changes to iOS 16. So, again, thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you on the next one.